Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the Blackwell Epiphany. And in the last episode, guys, we were able to find another member of the Grace Group. Unfortunately, he has passed away, but his ghost is still here. He hasn't been ripped in half yet. He's currently stuck at his gym trying to fix a light bulb. So I guess there are worse fates? I don't know. But the important thing here at the gym is we found the name of the ghost who is George Austin's neighbor, and her name is Tanya. So I figure we need to go ahead and go back, go directly to George Austin's apartment. Oh, that's nice. And see if Joey can get some information. Now that we have the name, see if she may be a little bit more forthcoming with info. That's the hope and the dream, at least. Hi there. Hello again, mister. What brings you by? There we go. You're Tanya Corsi, aren't you? You're in television. Ah, <sighs> I knew you'd get it. That's me, Tanya Corsi, host of the Good Morning Show on Channel 11. Now all the mystery is gone. Well, maybe we can get some more info. Let's ask about Jim Peoples, who we saw over at the newsroom. I met one of your producers, Jim. What about him? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering what you could tell me about him. I don't spread gossip, mister. Except when I'm on the air. You sure you can't tell me anything else about Jim? If you want to get to know him, ask him yourself. Do you know uh, Heather Goffstein? No. No, I don't. Sorry. Come on. That note on the floor, it has Heather written on it. So? Like I told you, it has no meaning to me. I don't know any Heather. Definitely got defensive there. So, I heard you go to Peter Fielding's gym. I do. Or rather, I did. After what happened to him, I just couldn't... You mean his... Death? Yes. So, so senseless. senseless. Oh, I wonder if there was a relationship there. So, can you tell me anything about Peter? A brutal taskmaster is what he was, but I can't deny he got results. Nope, I can't deny it either. <laughs> Joey. So, Tanya, tell me about yourself. <laughs> you want to get to know the real Tanya Corsi. The Tanya that you don't read about in the tabloids and magazines? If you let me. I barely know you, Mr. Malone. Although if you swing by more often, you might learn a thing or two. Come on, tell me something about yourself. Must be nice for someone like you to be asked a question for once. You've been doing nothing but ask questions since you came in here. Huh, fair point. Well, she got us there. Come on, tell me- You've been doing nothing. Huh. Does the name Benjiro ring any bells? Benjiro? Is that Japanese? I believe so. Sorry, I don't know anyone named Benjiro. Do you know a guy named Jeffrey Dutta? Hmm. Sorry, I don't. Is there anything else you can tell me about, Peter? Did you ever see him outside of the gym? No. No, of course I didn't. You lie! Do you know a- No. Come on. So, I don't know- Well... We didn't get as much info as I thought we would. Hmm. Alright. Are you sure you don't know anything about this note? No. I don't know anything about any note. Please stop asking about it. Well, Tanya, I have to get going, but I'll see you around. Ta. Maybe... Let's go directly outside, yeah. Where should we check out now? Can we go back? Familiar faces. It is a relief to see you both. We found one of the Grace Group spooks, Peter Fielding. I see. Is he still intact? Yeah, he tried to get me to join a gym. I thought as much. You thought so? What do you mean? You know as well as I do. A spirit cannot be moved from this world until it is spiritually ready. It would appear that is also the case here. 
But what about George and Leah? From my understanding, they were aware of their death when they were taken. Yeah, they were. Then there's your answer. They were spiritually ready to leave this world, and so were vulnerable. This fielding, was it? He is a lucky soul indeed. Until he is made aware, he cannot be taken. Not by you, or by anyone else. It actually might be best to kind of leave him to his light bulb for now, then. You've been around the block a few times, so to speak. Nothing like this has ever happened to you before? The destruction of the very essence of life? No. Such a thing is difficult to contemplate, and to witness it even more so. So what? We just leave the spook to rot? Of course not. It has been known for some spirits to become aware on their own. The right face, the right moment, anything can trigger it. And if that happens to Fielding, no. Our duty is to save him, and save him we shall. How? The usual rules have been chucked out the window. We make a move and he gets hammered. And we're not gonna let that happen, not again. It is a dilemma for certain. So wait, this is our fault? Whatever do you mean? Leah, George, just by trying to save them, we destroyed them. I suppose, yes, it could be seen that way. But please do not blame yourself. How could you have known? Ignorance doesn't change anything. Listen to me. Whatever or whoever is taking these souls, they were marked long before they died. All we can do now is move forward and save who we can. It just makes more sense to me to leave Peter in stasis. Some, some ghosts have been around for a long time. We need to think about this, plan our next move. Of course. In fact, I might have an idea along those lines. I must confer with my host. Please excuse me. Okay. He's okay? Peter's really okay? He is still deceased, but in all other respects, yes. He is as well as can be. This changes everything. You have no idea. You too. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I never even considered that Peter's soul could be saved. And maybe Heather too. Yes, Heather. If she wasn't taken, then her soul must still be lost. And this is a good thing? Of course. If a soul is merely lost, it still can be saved. And maybe, so can mine. So what are we doing there, boss? So, what's your plan? We are approaching this from ignorance, and possibly from fear. Before I was trapped in the void, I was a spirit guide for a very long time. I can learn much from a spirit by looking at it, and talking to it. If Fielding's soul still exists, then it must be brought here. And Heather. Heather's soul must still be out there. And her as well, of course. Peter Fielding's spook is at the gym. It's not too far away. You can talk to him there. Are you kidding? I step out of this circle, who knows what could happen? If I die, there's a good chance I'll be an aware spirit, just like Leah and George, and then... Be at peace, my host. I would not ask you to do such a thing. Well, thank heaven for that. Besides, it is unnecessary. As you say, only spiritually aware souls are attacked. Since this Fielding is not spiritually aware, Meeting him in his current state would be fruitless. We need to awaken him before I can determine anything about him. Yeah, that... Hmm. Um, won't awakening these ghosts destroy him? Aren't we trying to avoid that? Don't be absurd. We'll put them behind this circle. They will be safe there. And how are we supposed to do that? Spooks like me can't enter the thing. This might surprise you, Malone, but I did think of that. Come here. Take this. What's this thing? Call it a totem. It was made with some of my essence. The circle was created in much the same manner, so it will make a perfect focus. When you awaken a spirit, use the totem to send them directly here. They will remain safely behind the circle until we can determine the next course of action. So I'll be trapped in this circle with Peter and Heather's ghosts? I am afraid so, my host. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. And I guess it will be nice to see them again. Yes. I don't know if I trust her. This has a let's go ahead and put all of our eggs in one basket or one circle of protection. Is there anything else you can tell me about Peter? Anything that can help us? No. Of all the people in our group, Peter was the one I spoke to the least. I think 
George once belonged to his gym, even took personal training sessions for a while. But George wasn't really the personal fitness type. That's something. I need to know everything you can tell me about Heather. Well, there was one thing. It was a confession of sorts, you see, and she trusted me. What was it? You don't understand. It was a confession. It might have been a long time ago, but it was still a sacred trust. I can't betray that trust. It goes against everything I believe in. Don't you think that under the circumstances, she would understand? I'm not sure God would. Does it really matter? What's the worst that could happen? You lose your soul? My God, when you put it like that. Heather was a prostitute. She wanted to confess, but didn't feel right entering a church. She might have been Jewish, judging by her name, but I think she just wanted to speak to someone who understood. Understood? Someone who had been to Grace Group meetings. Someone who had had a life-changing revelation, like I did. I don't know what her revelation was, but she wanted to purge herself of her old life. So she asked if I could come to her apartment and listen to her. So I did. Do you remember where she lived? I was a priest entering the house of a prostitute. It's not something you forget. She lived by Tompkins Square Park. Here's the address. Ooh, a new travel site. Okay. I was about to say, like, did becoming was becoming a prostitute part of her revelation? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna go down the line here. Is there anything else you could tell us about the Grace Group? No. You know everything I do. There are tons of case files. Anything else you can tell me about yourself? No, I just... I just want this to be over. One way or the other. Maybe he'll know something about Jim. Did you ever watch Tanya Corsi's show? No, sorry. So the man who ran the Grace Group meetings was named Benjiro? Yeah, Japanese guy. I don't remember anything else about him. Is there anything you can tell me about Peter? Anything that can help us? No. Of all the people in our group, I think... But... Okay. Is there anything else? I just know she was a prostitute when she went to Grace Group meetings. I don't know what's happened to her since. Do you know anyone named Jim Peebles? No. Sorry. Okay. I guess we should get going. Then I do believe our talk is concluded. I will return outside. Um... Hey, Madeline? Yes, my host. It's all right. All right? Yeah. Stay inside. It's cold out there. I don't feel the cold, my host. I know. I know. Just stay, please. And thanks. It is my pleasure, my host. Hmm. Seems to be getting more comfortable. At least you could pray. Well, let's go ahead and try out... A new location. Well, hi. Some nasty spikes up there. I'm not climbing over it for sure. Joey? Hey, how'd you get in? Ah, hello, miss. Answer my question. How'd you get in? Oh, the gate was open. Is that all right? Sure, I guess. Just be sure to close it when you leave. I don't want to get in trouble. Dark and dusty. Can't tell what's in there. Get a lay of the land. Those plants are barely clinging to life. Frozen solid. Nobody's gonna have a picnic on that anytime soon. Must lead inside. Nice looking girl. I suppose that's an asset in her line of work. Yeah. Excuse me, miss? Oh, hi. What's up? You live here? I do. Why? No reason. Just making conversation. Is your name Heather Goffstein? Oh, I see. You came from Ray. Ray? Of course. You did come from Ray, right? Um... I don't know any Ray. I came to see you. Oh, well... That's sweet, I guess. But it doesn't matter. If you want a date, you'll need Ray's permission. A date? Isn't that why you're here? No, not at all. I just want to talk. Really? Really. Well, I suppose that's all right, but we should stay out here. If we don't go in the bedroom, then it's not a date. 
Ray. You don't seem terribly surprised that I'm here in your garden. Hmm. It is a bit strange you appeared out of nowhere, but hey, I'm used to men appearing on my doorstep. And for some reason, you seem safe. Safe? Yeah, just a vibe. Huh, thanks, I guess. You sure you should be out here? Why shouldn't I be? It's perfect. It's so nice to finally have a night clear enough to enjoy this place. Clear night, right. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about the Grace Group, Heather? Grace Group? Yeah, you were a member, right? Sorry, I don't know what that is. Come on, think. You met in the basement of Grace Church. What, like AA? I'm not an alcoholic, thank you. That's weird. I have it on good authority that you were part of the Grace Group. I told you, I don't know anything about any Grace Group. You ever go to the Carth House? Dumpy place in Chelsea. I don't think so. Sorry. Tell me about Father Michael Cooper. Father Michael? Is he a priest or something? Yeah, or something. He was part of the Grace Group. I don't know him. Sorry. Are you sure? He seems to know you. You don't meet many priests in my line of work. Or at least, if you do, they don't usually tell you. Do you know a Tanya Corsi? I don't think so. Sorry. Do you know a guy named Benjiro? I can't really say one way or the other. Sorry. I could get into trouble. Really? Do you know a guy named Benjiro? I can't. I could get... Do you know a guy named Peter Fielding? Runs a gym in Murray Hill. I can't really say one way or the other. Sorry. I could get into trouble. Man, she is just stonewalling, isn't she? So, tell me a bit about yourself, Heather. Can we not, please? Let's just enjoy the evening, okay? It's nice out here. Sure. No problem. <laughs> As Rosa slowly freezes to death. So, can we not? Let's sure. Do you know a guy named Jim Peebles? I can't talk about who I might know. I don't want to get anyone into trouble. Especially me. That's different answer than what she's been giving. Do you know a guy? I can't. I don't want to. So, tell me about this Ray character. I really shouldn't. Ray is really exclusive with the clients we're given. I shouldn't have told you the name. So, I Ray Well, Heather, I have to get going. Sure. I'd leave the gate open, but for some reason, I don't think that will be a problem for you. Can we go through the door? Just a dark hallway. I can't see a thing in there. There's nothing worth visiting on the other side. Okay. Is there... Can't see much, just a hallway. Nothing important. Now we have the totem now. Madeline said she used a bit of her essence to activate that circle, and that this totem would zap spooks into it. Is that what we need to do? If it's all the same, I'll use the door. Now let's try it. She needs to be spiritually aware before I can use this. Gotcha. Table, table, table. Excuse me, Heather? Oh, hi. What's up? I wonder if there's anything else that we could talk to her about. All of her responses are pretty much the same. So I think we may be stopped here. Where should we go? Let's just start from the police station and work our way down. Because we do have a ton of new contacts. Officer Palmer? Yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? Sunshine! Is there anything else you can tell me about Peter Fielding's death? Just what I told you. It was open and shut. Accidental death. 
Do you have any record of a Heather Goffstein? Let me check. Nope, nothing on Heather Goffstein. Sorry. Is there anything in the system about a Jim Peebles? Let's see. We're just doing background checks on everyone. Nope. Whoever he is, he's clean. And what about Ray, the pimp? Do you know anything about someone named Ray? I don't know who he is, but I think he's involved with prostitution. Prostitution? Is this related to Leah's case? I don't know. It could be. This just gets better and better. Anyway, Ray, let's take a look. Okay, the name Ray definitely comes up in the Vice Department database. There was a raid on a bar called Vantini a few years ago, and someone named Ray was taken in for questioning. No charges were made. Just Ray? No last name? No. Whoever Ray is, that's his full legal name. Anyway, here's the address of the bar if you need it. Thanks. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. He only has a one-syllable name, like Prince. Ventini. Can't see much, but it looks inviting. I can't see much, but it seems much warmer in there than it is out here. Ooh, there's a side door. The gate is locked. Okay, it's not going to stop Joey, but let's go ahead and go in here first. Will you look at this, Denise? Someone brave enough to join us in this weather. Well, brave or stupid anyway. Uh, right. Little of column A, little of column B. She must really like this place to be here in this weather. She looks kind of young to be working at a place like this. They've got a pretty varied selection, although I wouldn't really know. My criteria for picking out wine is, has pretty label and under 20 bucks. Oh, huh, me and Rosa have something in common. Whoever this was, he signed it, thanks for the tie, with love, A.G. It's a painting of a woman dancing. It's dedicated to someone named Mistress B. Looks like some kind of promotional poster for a burlesque act. I'm not going to steal paintings from a bar. That's fair. Emergency exit, which I assume takes us to the side path. Hi. Hey, what can I get for you? So what can you tell me about this place? It's old. Quiet. I like it that way. Really? Yeah. I work on my thesis most nights. Honestly, I'm surprised a big place like this can stay open. It's always empty. I better not drink. I need to keep a clear head. How about a coffee or something? No thanks, I already have one. Hmm, I see. Don't turn down free coffee, Rosa. What's wrong with you? Do you know Heather Goffstein? Sorry, I don't. Do you know Ray? Ray? Yeah, is he here? No, no, he is not. Well, thanks. I better get going. Hi. Hey, what can I get for you? Nope. Well, thanks. Okay, how about you, ma'am? Excuse me. Hmm, yes? I'm looking for Ray. Do you know where I can find him? Ray, huh? And why would you be looking for Ray? Because there's nothing to say that Ray is a... Did, well, did Palmer say that Ray was male or female? I need to talk to him. I can't go into specifics, but it involves a woman who worked for him worked for him. Hmm? In what capacity? She was a working girl. Heather Goffstein. She worked for Ray, and now she's dead. Hmm. I see. Worked is the appropriate word, I suppose. Heather left my employee a long time ago. Yep. Your employee? Yes. You want to speak to Ray? She's right in front of you. The former Rachel Mendez at your service. So you work here? Not directly, but I suppose I'm as much a fixture here as anything else. This is her office. So Heather worked for you. Can you tell me about her? It's been, gosh, several years. I'm afraid I can't tell you much. She was very young. Very pretty. Slightly lost, perhaps, like many of my girls. She's really dead? How did it happen? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. Is this a police matter? Not directly. I'm 
I'm working with them, but I'm pretty much on my own. Well, in that case, ask me whatever you like. You said Heather left your employee. Could you explain? Just that. She packed up and left. And you were okay with that? You think I would drag her back against her will? Absolutely not. And what would be the point? I replaced her the next week. It's the nature of this business. Some girls try the life, discover it's not for them, and then leave. Some stay for years and it grinds them alive. But occasionally, with luck and persistence, one can flourish. Like Gr I did. Grind is the, uh, yeah, that's the term. Did Heather have any enemies, an obsessive client, or anything? I suppose anything is possible, but not likely. I screen our clients very carefully, and I keep very careful records. Ooh, Heather's records, okay. How does this business work, exactly? There's no bedroom upstairs, if that's what you are asking. I own several apartments in the city. I give the girls room and board in exchange for the money they receive. Some of them skim. Hell, all of them skim. But I make sure to treat them well. They treat me well in return. If you kept careful records, does that mean you have a list of Heather's clients somewhere? No. I'm sorry, but no. Oh, that look. Don't you want to know what happened to Heather? That client list could help. You have no reason to suspect one of her clients had anything to do with it. You can't even tell me how she died. I won't betray my client's trust based on a flimsy guess. I really need that client list. Absolutely not. I give a premium product, and our clients expect premium service. Privacy is part of that service. That client list stays in my office where it belongs. Oh, thank you. Well, I guess that's everything. Sorry I can't help you. For what it's worth, I liked Heather. I'm sad she's dead. I suppose a drink to her memory is in order. Care to join me? Thanks, but no. Mm. More for me, then. Denise, one gimlet, please. You know how I like it. Oh, can we do something to the glass? It's Ray's martini glass. Huh. Okay, Joey, maybe upstairs. Aha. Uh, you think they used enough pink up here? Doesn't look like anyone sat there for a long time. She looks kind of old fashioned, even by my standards. No idea who that guy is. No idea who that guy is. Table and chairs. Mirror, sofa. Oh, well, not what I was expecting, actually. All I'll see is a whole load of nothing. Is this a gin joint or a living room? Hmm. All right. What about the emergency exit? Whoa. That door has got to lead back to the street. A trash dumpster covered in ice. It's a rag sticking out of a dumpster. Okay, Rosa, can we... Hey, you can't go out that way. Sorry. Oh, right. Sorry. I have an idea about what we're going to have to do. I think Joey's going to have to blow on the glass and knock it off the table. She'll probably try and clean it up, or get distracted, and then we can go out that exit, maybe? Oh! Well, we can't go up here, that's nice. Looks like the kind of place where old men would read newspapers. If people still read newspapers, anyway. A painting of a woman in Victorian dress. Some vintage posters of a German crooner. Looks to be 50 years old. Some vintage posters of a German crooner. Looks comfortable. Shame I'm not here for fun. Ugh, no. I've been walking nonstop for two straight nights in the snow. I don't want to see how I look. Okay. Well, the important thing, guys, is that we have discovered Ray, and now we need to try to get her client list, because I think that's probably the key to at least getting to Heather, and maybe fi figuring out who Jay is in this entire thing. But I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.